YouTube kick. Welcome back. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Uh, Pride Month has been wild, man. It has been wild. To this, this year has been a big divide, especially with women speaking up more, and it has been a wild ride, this Pride. Last month, it wasn't as bad, but when Bud Light did what they did, that, I mean, that's... Once they started getting kids involved, which is like nine months ago, that really got things popping, and then Bud Light happened, and I mean, it just went boom and exploded. This has been the craziest year for Pride I've ever seen. So let's take a quick look at this video. <laughs> so I got my buttons mixed up. Let me, let me explain what's going on before. It may look very confusing. It may look like a black rally or something, but no, this is a pride march. You can see this different color people. But these, this is the woman up here talking about women's rights. She said, defend female sex-based rights. So she's pretty much a women's activist. Now she isn't, she didn't walk into this crowd. This crowd formed around her. She was already doing her thing and then they gathered around her. Let's watch and see how this ends. So this is, I'm going to turn this down, guys, because I can't hear my voice, and it is so loud. Um, let me just turn it down a little bit. <laughs> Y'all get the thing. But here's uh, some other thing. Pregnant women, birthing parent, chest feeder, menstruator, ovulator, uterus haver, bleeder, cis, cis, uh, cis woman, and she has check marks to say mother, woman, girl, female. Um, and here's the thing. This is where it starts going south. They start touching her, and her reaction, I'm not saying her was the best reaction, but I already knew this was going to spark off. As soon as you see somebody say, don't touch me, every time I see somebody do that in a crowd of people, it's about to get crazy. That's when you just say, I don't know what you do. This must be very scary. I mean, there's one thing to stand up for yourself, but it's one thing to be like, oh, I might get beat to the ground. I might not survive this. There's a crowd of people now. If, now, to be to be for sure certain if they had beaten this woman and she had gone to the hospital oh you best believe proper rates over anytime people see proper rates they can be like oh those people are just violent um so i i don't i think they, that's what keeps people from doing it because they know how it's gonna look y'all are supposed to be peaceful people and y'all are beating people to the ground um but and like i said it's not like she was she walked into this crowd the crowd formed around her. She was already doing her thing, and they just started forming around her and twerking and um, yelling and throwing the middle finger up and stuff like that. So let's keep it moving. Yep, as soon as you hear that, that's a grown man behind her. Grown man right here. But he's not doing anything, from what I can tell. It, these are all women. Goodness gracious. You can see this guy. He's like, uh, I might. And I think this is a guy back here, but I could be wrong. But th this guy's kind of like, oh, Lord, I, this this might get silly. Let's, let's calm down. And this girl right here, she can see the camera. So can she. She's like, hold up, hold up. Oh, see, that's too much. That's too much. Yeah, you know, but, you know, that sign is about to go away. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's a guy twerking. Oh, so that guy does get involved. There he is right there. Oh, no, I'm trying to see if he was trying to protect it. Nope. He was a part of it. So he does get involved. Never mind. Man, that's a lot of yelling. That is just wild. Uh, man, my thoughts on this, um, this kind of stuff that happens all the time. Listen, I'm not surprised at this kind of stuff. This stuff happens at all kind of rallies. If y'all just saw the one with the, uh, this one I'm not as, I, I don't talk about as much because I'm not as into it. Um, I d am definitely know more about pride. I definitely know more about that culture. I know more about 
protecting the children. I just know more about that with working with children for so long. And I've, I've talked to so many people in the pride movement um, and I've researched into it and I just kind of know how that is. Uh, but there is a video that was very interesting and there was, so there's Trump MAGA, right? You know, that's what they call it, MAGA. So there's MAGA and then there's Fed MAGAs, right? And there was a video of these guys. So pretty much they were, they were sitting there doing their, they were just being patriots, had their flags up. And then these guys came in wearing masks, putting up the Nazi sign and stuff like that. They call these guys Fed MAGAs, Fed MAGAs, because the point is they're trying to make it look like every time there is a MAGA protest, that it's Nazi people doing it. It's racist people do it. So these guys will come in with masks on, and um, these guys will come in with masks on and try to make these rallies look racist and make them look like way worse than they are. Um, and, and that one got kind of violent, you know, not like, not kind of like this, you know, there was just a lot of touching. The guys were ripping their mask off. Um, so I'm not surprised that this kind of stuff happens when you're an activist. Um, this is bound to happen. I just normally see more of it. Now in this case with the MAGA thing that was coming from the conservative side, from what I could see, uh, was being violent, but those guys just get so tired of people coming in and making them feel like racist. So they were getting fed up. Um, I never say we should be violent though. But as far as this one goes, um, dangerous places to be are in the middle of a pride circle, especially with a bunch of women, man, uh, especially with a bunch of men, uh, women, and then especially around feminine men. Um, now, when you get in a group of guys, obviously, it can get real crazy, too. Um, it really can. But normally, when you see these pride things, it tends to be more women than men, and it tends to be more men and feminine men. I mean, women and feminine men. Um, it seems to be, and they, when they get into that, that, that vicious mode, it gets wild. And so this was just bound to happen. I'm, I didn't hear that this lady got hurt. I'm so glad to hear that. And I just hope that it's all okay. Shout out to Redux for that video. Um, but I want to see, I want y'all to, I want y'all to see a little bit more of an aftermath of this. Uh, this isn't an exact aftermath, but this is just the kind of stuff that I expect to see, you know? Same kind of crowd, right? Bunch of women wearing the rainbows, and this is how it ends. Now, it doesn't. Get, this video doesn't get that violent. They are throwing punches, but there's no blood, and a lot of these punches don't land. It's more wrestling than punching. As you can see, she's not landing any of these. It's just a lot of hand slapping. But you can see this right here, and you can see a guy. This is a. This is not. This is the feminine guy, who is fighting this woman. So it's just that kind of stuff that you just kind of see a lot of when it comes to these kind of things. I, and you notice I, I'm trying to avoid saying this is a black woman thing because I don't believe that in this case. In this case, um, I do believe that this would have happened regardless because when it comes to these pride people, they just get really violent, man. Um, and not just pride people. We saw this happen during the anti-abortion stuff, right? When, uh, when, when Roe v. Wade went down, man, it, just, it was the same thing, too. Um, so these people tend to be this way. And I don't like normally saying these people on the left or progressive or liberal, but I like to say that these people who think they're truly fighting for rights, a little ASMR for you guys. But these people on the right, I mean, these people who tend to go, f want to fight for these human rights, they tend to go f about it very violent. It is normally very violent. And once again, this is, uh, I have to say this is still once again about power, um, controlling um, the narrative and this kind of stuff, making it seem like people who are part of the pride movement are the most loving and most thoughtful people when they have become the most aggressive, hating people I've ever seen, the most manipulating, controlling people. And, you know, it's not that crazy because I've been saying this for years. A lot of us have been saying this for years. It just took bigger platforms to finally do it, thank God. But I made a video a long time ago about this when I was talking about um, how sometimes I feel like they force people into this cult and they force people into this way and then they just start becoming um, hateful or they start manipulating you or they start validating you too much. And that's what I see with this thing, man. Because what do y'all think about these people? Do none of these women are going to get in trouble. Nobody's going to care that they fought against this women as activists. People are going to come out and say this is wrong, but they'll say it on the internet. People don't come out in droves that I see personally in real life they're afraid of these people. They're afraid to go up to these proud people and be like, hey, look, 
what, what y'all, what I, now there's people who do it, but you normally don't see it in mass. Now, the biggest thing we saw happen in mass was the L.A. Dodgers game with all the Catholics and Christians who came out, Catholics and Christians, with all the <laughs> Christians who came out and uh, boycotted that thing. That was the biggest thing I've seen, the biggest turnout, and I'm glad for that. But as far as when it comes to these proper raids, you normally see, like, one guy and a couple other guys say something, or you see a couple of women come out, or you see, like, you know, a little co-ed uh, stuff, and it's just really normally, like, a group of 10 people going against a mass of hundreds of people. So you don't see them coming out in droves, and I understand that because you don't want to bring out, like, a thousand people, right? To say, hey, let's go boycott. Because if you do that, it's going to end in violence. It's probably going to end up in a fight. Not because of the side that's against them, but when proud people, I hate saying proud people, but when these types of people see people trying to protest and all that, they just get violent. And I just, I hate to see it. But what else are we supposed to do? Excuse me. What else are we supposed to do at this point? Let's be honest with ourselves. What else are we supposed to do? In order for us to stand up for what we believe to be true, it's just got, it just has to be this way sometimes. Sometimes you have to go out there in the crowd of masses. And I know that can be very scary, but I don't know what else to do at this point. We have to stand up for ourselves. We, we're not even asking. It's not like we hate gays or we hate prior people. We're just saying, look, y'all are doing a little too much now. And y'all are talking, y'all are actually taking away people's rights by making people, forcing people to do this stuff and making them do this stuff. And if we disagree for a second, you're going to yell and beat us. I don't think that's right. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'm out of here. Peace.